the service provider network is connected to the uh, consumer or the consumer network through the user to network interface uh, consumer UNIC. In this module, we are going to look at how uh, the consumer could possibly have access to the service provider's infrastructure uh, and program it to uh, avail some deal or some package um, like uh, service provider provides a software as a service um, utility or a feature as in a firewall that possibly a customer could program and uh, provide to its own user base. So uh, let's look at the requirement of it and the overall framework for it. Uh, the consumers could be uh, retail or consumers could be uh, service providers in turn as well. So the variation in programming uh, skills or the dexter dexterity expectations is quite uh, varied. So we can imagine that there are some um, turnkey services um, as softwares which are provided to the customers by the service provider with some reconfigurability and reprogrammability um, provisioned to the customer. The programmability would now be limited to uh, configuration options like uh, adjusting um, the values of certain uh, fields visible through a web-based interface. The consumer could subscribe to the service provider, for instance, a service uh, of a firewall. The service provider deploys now the firewall within its own infrastructure, but the front end or the API is provisioned to the consumer or the um, customer base of the consumer. All the traffic that is coming from consumer devices uh, or the consumer network is now uh, routed through, that is to and from the um, service provider's infrastructure, primarily through the firewall that uh, the service provider has set up for the uh, consumer. Let's look at the, um, the complete details of it. Uh, the description is itself clear that the consumer subscribes to an offer by a service provider for a firewall. Uh, the firewall capability is only installed within the infrastructure of the service provider. And uh, the service provider only offers uh, limited configuration um, or uh, editable parameters to the uh, customer. For instance, opening and closing uh, pinholes. Uh, that is changing the port ports or uh, changing the applications which could be provided access to the, through the firewall. What happens in a more uh, traditional approach is that uh, traditional firewalls are deployed as standalone elements and these are integrated into the customer premises equipment like uh, 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 gateways or routers or wireless access points. Uh, the cons the uh, configuration of traditional firewalls is, is a one-time affair and it only is updated through service patches, it's, it's difficult and it requires a specialized knowledge by the networking uh, experts. Uh, so the uh, configuration actually uh, would uh, allow the uh, users to have uh, control over certain parameters but would not have programmatic access to certain um, underlying features or more technically advanced options. Uh, in programmability approach, uh, the 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 uh, uh, consumer uh, possibly uh, is now limited uh, to configurable parameters uh, to meet the market expectations, uh, while also allowing some add-ons. The programmability could be achieved by uh, providing a web-based interface with tailored or customized access to um, certain um, firewall features. The uh, network programmability would involve the modification of uh, uh, the uh, operator infrastructure. So this is essentially a firewall, a virtual network function um, infrastructure as a service uh, in the more traditional uh, network function virtualization context because it's ha all happening in the cloud. The firewall could also be now deployed by the operator um, with uh, some high-end hardware capability because the traffic is now going to be routed through the flows which are determined by the service provider for the particular consumer. Uh, 
the challenge that we are going to expect here uh, is not going to be uh, much different from what we have seen earlier in offering services across uh, service providers infrastructure from the enterprise ang angle even from within the infrastructure uh, of the operator uh, so we can say that the firewall service could be applied uh, to all of the consumer services each consumer service could possibly have its own uh, 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 policy requirement uh, this could lead to some more complexity but this complex complexity essentially is on the service providers end so uh, uh, we are going to look at the advantages that we are going to get the first and foremost is the availability of a software utility that allows the customer to have the firewall capability rather than deploying its own uh, infrastructure involving the capital and the operating cost uh, that's the first then uh, uh, the experience of the service provider in handling security essentially means that they have a more systematic operational procedure and a more thorough outlook on how uh, security threats are uh, handled and uh, uh, managed uh, then if the firewall is deployed by the operator as a software application it means that the software could be changed could be modified and then um, all the um, resources which are required are on the service providers end so when users move to their workplaces and they access the consumer network or consumer infrastructure they have to go through the firewall as an application this actually means that uh, uh, the same cloud based the operator based infrastructure is now available to the consumer because the consumer has programmed it once for its own customer base whether they are at their offices or they are at home and then uh, uh, over time updated security profiles and uh, 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 ad more advanced uh, billing options and uh, um, more scalable solutions could be provided as new service patches come in these software as a service features like firewall the reference is essentially the same operational opportunities and challenges of sdn and network function virtualization programmable infrastructure by the atis the alliance for telecommunication in industry solutions